Going way, way back to the early days of 75 and the black space. It was like, you know, it was like a wave, you know, it was a wave. We planted the seeds everywhere we went and everybody took it to a different level, you know what I'm mm. saying? Okay, so where would you, on a hip hop timeline, where, how would you start it off? The history of hip hop, where would it start from? Well, you can't have the history of hip hop with first of all talking about the gang culture, the black space. Uh, one of the things I told you when we were talking on the phone, and we talked about the light bulb, the analysis of the light bulb. Thomas right, Edison created right, the light bulb. Right. But he couldn't have done that without Ben Franklin discovering electricity a okay. hundred years or whatever previously. Right. So while the genesis of hip hop, and, and I know people out there like it, is Cool Herc, and the people can say whatever they want, he would not have been possible without the electricity that was created by the culture that was existing in the 1970s, early part of the 70s, and that very specifically is gang culture and more specifically starting with the black stage. As far as Benjamin Franklin and the light bulb and electricity. Electricity, yeah, the so you're saying, you're saying... Her and hip-hop would not be possible without the culture that existed in gang culture, specifically the black space. Right. So okay. they laid that, that, that groundwork, that, that energy. You know what I mean? That energy. That shit, man. Remember, man? 1968, we started this shit. Yeah, yeah. Let the people know who you are. 1960, my name is Mike. Fat Mike, they call me Fat Mike. Used to be Fat Mike. Right, right. 58 years old, started the space when we was what? 14, 13, something like that. I'm not out that age. Around that area. Around that age. It was 1968, 123. Right. 123, junior high school, James M. Curran. Right, right, right. We started because, <clears throat> because we had other gangs around the neighborhood that we couldn't go past certain areas right it was always threatening us you used to go out of the community you used to always get beat up or oh, running home because you your life is in danger you couldn't go nowhere really without being called mooney uh, 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 uh spade uh, 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 uh jungle bunny and all that they throw bottles at you bottles bottle bottle everything, everything. Mm. rocks bricks run behind you with bats at the time, it was at that time there was real heavy drugs around here, and we used to beat up the drug addicts. What happened was we used to keep the drug dealers out. They didn't want to be in here. Junkies wouldn't be in here. We were, we were getting dope dealers and whooping their ass for coming around here with that bullshit. Don't bring right. it to our community. And we used to beat up the drug addicts. Right. Then we started beating. Come here. Come here. Then Come here, we dude. started going. We wasn't allowed to go past White Plains Road. We mm. couldn't go yeah, over get down, get down, get down. the bridge right here on Watson Avenue. Right. Come here. We couldn't go over there because we was always yeah, spread by the Spanish gangs or the white boys. Come over here. Right. The Caucasian. Right. No, nah, white boys. Caucasian, right. Nah, Caucasian. Caucasian. The Irish and the Italians. Right. It was Kevin and right. um, right. Kevin and right. Kevin. Right. 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 Yeah, we couldn't go nowhere. Right. We couldn't go from there to every one from there to there. We had, we had, we had to run good, fight fast, or both at the same time. So right. You can walk around and call a nigga. Only place you safe over here is White Castle. When you come out here, I'm up with driving past over there, shooting at you from over there. I tell them, all of them, pro we couldn't even go to school. All of them projects over there, you see all the brothers and sisters living in? Right. All white people. So we had some crackers over there in them cannons. You used to shoot at us every day coming and going from school. Every morning, every right. afternoon, and every Caucasian, and so you know, and we soon we started there, and it was like seven of us when we first started. Seven, okay, and then we started beating up other neighborhoods, right? Just to go there, right? And then I just heard about us, and as they heard about us, the seven of us, they thought we was big at the time, but we wasn't big, it was only seven, so right? We spread it, spread it, and we while. started spreading. Seven of us started so many, <laughs> and I'm telling you, we started so many. Right. Like right. I said, when I was saying to you, I it. it was seven of us. Right. The rest of them, Snoop and all of them, Snoop was in Vietnam at the time. Right. And when he came home, he started giving us army tactics, which made us win a lot of gang fights. Mm. <laughs> who that? Who gave you army tactics? Who? Snoopy. Snoopy? Yeah. Oh, you mean like fighting? Yeah. Okay. He gave us a lot of and yeah, he did. He gave us a lot of army tactics. We were ripping ass too. <laughs> <laughs> and we was you no, know, it was really we made the gang up because it was a lot of other gangs undercover, not really undercover, it was we couldn't go across the bridge. We right. couldn't go 
to uh, it was like past White Plains Road. It was like segregation around right, here. Everything right, right. segregated. Right, and we had a Caucasian living in the project. Right. That was somewhere else in the Black Spades. You talking about Bronxdale Project? Bronxdale Project. That's right, where it all started. Right, right. I mean, you know, it's where all we all was from. But right. We discussed about the gang shit when we was in uh 123 lunchroom. Right. And then all of a sudden, we rose. I don't know, it was amazing how fast we got big. Mm. It was amazing. Once we beat up social lords. Yeah. And beat up the Golden Guineas. Golden Guineas. <laughs> yeah, it's a Caucasian game. Right. You know, and when we when we got out of junior high school and went to Stevenson, right. Stevenson was 85% white. Caucasian. White. Wow. 85% Caucasian. And then we used to catch hell in school. You gotta understand, when we went to school, I guess around in this neighborhood, we broke the divide. They wasn't used to no black. All this was white neighborhood. Right. So when we got here, it was the first for everybody. It was the first for us and the first for them too, but they wasn't used to us. Mm. They were not used to us. Even in school, we got a raw deal. Right. Stevenson was 85% white. Caucasian. Wow. 85% Caucasian. And what year was this? 1970. 70. Yes. Okay. 19 seconds, we all like graduated. But by 79, it was like all black, right? No. No. No? 1971, it turned all black. 1971. <laughs> the following year. Right, right, right. Because they, they took all their kids. They took all their kids out of there. Yeah, right. And then all of a sudden, because it was amazing how it went from 85% Caucasian, and then the following year, we just wondered where it all went. Right, 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 right. You right, know? Right, right. But then that's how it went. And no school, no all of a sudden, <laughs> You know, we started getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. <clears throat> and then all of a sudden, like back in the same, same at the same time, like back in 69, 70, a friend of ours who came from down south, Disco King Mario. Okay. Who came from down south wearing pointy shoes. Right. Looking like a uh, Mexican. Okay. Dressing like a Mexican. <laughs> came there and, you know, he joined the spades and all this. But his main object was to play the music. The music, right. What year was this he joined? This was, he, Mario joined the Spades like in 70, 70, 71. 70, 71. Around that time. And Mario was just, you know, playing, at that time Mario had a little beatbox. Okay. Mario used to carry around a big radio. Yeah, no lie, yeah. big fucking radio. <laughs> you said Mario had a box, he used to walk around with a radio? Yeah, yeah, big box, man. That's what, that's what I was gonna say, man. The bigger your box was, that made you the man. You used to walk around the, the music. <laughs> Playing our music. And he kept saying, I'm going to get me a place of music. I'm going to play some music. All of a sudden, him, first it was him and Spanky, had two little rinky dink fucking turntables. Right. No mix at the time. Right. Two little fucking speakers. I forgot how we rented the Sound View Center. But we used to play music. Out here, he said, bring it outside in front of 1715. Okay. And play music, and the parents liked it and all that. The right. parents, because they kept us close together. It was loud, though, right? Yeah, at it was. First, yeah, at, first, well, at first, was it loud? It was loud enough. Right. It right, wasn't right. that. And all of a sudden, Marius started getting, he got a big speakers. Him and Texas started getting, Spanky started getting big speakers. The cool kick. Like the records. Caucasian people, did they just get mad? Y'all playing? No, nah. no, no. Because at that time, we had this family over here, my man Gary Grassy. Mm -hmm. He's a Caucasian guy. At that time, his father owned the shrimp box. Right. Everybody used to think it was owned by Puerto Rican or a black dude. The shrimp box was owned by a Caucasian guy. Okay. Gary Grassy's father, Mr. Grassy. Mm. And, you know, they did, they, did, they loved the music around here. Yeah, our parents just sit on the bench, no had nothing to worry about, mm. all that. They didn't have to worry about nothing. And this is 70, 71. This is like 70, 71, 72. Right. And we was having fun, man. We was, having, we was just kids watching out for our neighborhood. Right. And playing music. Right. Then all of a sudden, Mario started, we started, Mario said, oh, I'm going to expand. So what he did, he started getting centers. You know, getting rent centers out, party. playing parties. Because mm -hmm. the hot spot was see the Sound View or Lafayette. Mm. Then all of a sudden we played the Bronx River. Okay. Then all of a sudden, Bad Cabana was a young spade. Oh, okay. 
So he was a young spade at this time. Yeah. He was like a what they call that, a baby spade or he something like that. He was a young. No, you had baby spade and you had young spade. Okay, he was a young spade. He was a young spade. Okay. He, he, as a matter of fact, he's the president of his division. Okay. And that was like the what? Tenth division, right? That was yeah. I probably recall the tenth division. Right, right. So they came way later. Yeah. Van Bada came way later. Yeah. Because at that time, Bronx River had Bronx River had a, group, a gang called what was it? Uh, the Spider, the Scorpion, something. I heard it was like Power or something like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Power, right. Yeah, because my man was in it. Right. A friend, I used to go to a junior high school with. And we broke them up. We beat their ass. <laughs> then, you had, then you had, we started playing Monroe. Right. Monroe had Monroe Spiders. We beat their ass. They broke up. Right, right, right. No, you know what was dangerous? Is that you we beat them all the damn day. No, 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 because <laughs> listen, every time we went to a party, we had to give a party or something right. or whatever, they women used to fall for us. Okay. You know? Right. And they didn't like it. We knew they could get guys. Monroe was spiders. They were second, right? Wasn't he? Well, was no, we had second division. Wait a minute. Monroe had the spiders, but we also had the division over here with the second division. Okay, that was over here. Over here, over in Monroe. Okay. In Monroe, and that was the president at that time. That was Palmer. Okay. That's my man Palmer. Yeah. So they was they was like next. Like first it was Bronxdale with the spade, and then no, no. no. Patterson. No. No. It was we were us first. Right. We just gave Palmer. Palmer was over there, so we said, Palmer, you can have your own division. So we gave him a division. He called it the second division because they was close. Right. So we just did the name Sixth Division. Patterson Project was the seventh division. Okay. But believe it or not, Patterson Project was, besides us, they were the baddest. Right, 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 right. They were no joke. <laughs> they were no joke. Right. They were, they was my brothers. All that together, right? My Haven, because all my that's ha right all there. That, all that, all right. that, 17th Division owned. Mm. All the mother gangs over there feared the 17th Division play space. Okay. Because we, I, and I don't know, I really can't how, tell you how fast, how big we got fast, but we did get big, we got big, we got large fast. Right. And it was so ironic. I went to Atlanta for like nine months, and a guy out there I met, I didn't even know him, nothing like that. He looked on my arm, he said, what is that spade on your arm? I said, I was one of the uh, leaders of the black spades. He said, get out of here. And he said, listen, and he took me on the internet. Mm -hmm. And he was showing me my faces, Bam, bam Bams, mm -hmm. Sugar Bear, all our faces, yeah, yeah. you know? He was showing our faces. And he would say, yeah, man, I heard about y'all. And he's young. he was young. Mm -hmm. He was only about 20 years old. You know, at the time, I was 56. And he was up there telling me about it. You know, he kept, you know, he kept on us, you know, yeah. on the internet. And when he showed me, and they had an article that we was one of the lot back yeah. from the late 60s to the early 70s, we were the largest gang on the East, the most fierce and largest gang on the East Coast. Right. And hear about your own queens. We yeah. didn't want, we didn't want, we didn't, yeah, we didn't want. Yeah, Queens. Yeah, Queens, I to hear about them, yeah. Not only Queens, and yeah. another thing that's so funny about this, we were sitting on the bench over in Bronxdale, and we see some guys coming with our, we had a lawyer named Ralph Popkins. Mm. And we see them walking through the project with some big, huge, huge dudes, man. And he said, this is your chapter from Florida. We said, what? They had long white coats on and on the back and letters, they had black spades. <laughs> we oh, said, damn, we were the yeah. And when was this? This was like back in 72, 73. 72. Y'all were still like teens, little young adults. Young adults, we was in, as a matter of fact, we was in like 19, 20 years old. Yeah. Yeah, we were like 20, 20. I think I was 21, 22. You know, then a lot of us got jobs. And we had families, right. you know, and we like cooled down a little, but we were still known. We still was well known. Right. And a lot of gangs started breaking up. Right, right. They started organizing, you know, making, you know, uh, a lot of us got into construction. Right. 
A lot of us got into driving chauffeuring, a lot of right, us became right, teachers, music, right. music and all that. And believe me, don't care what no one says, and you can hear from Fat Mike, that hip hop music started right. in Bronxdale. Right. Bronxdale by Disco King, right. Flatback Mario. <laughs> That's, right. That's where right, it started. Right, right. right. Yeah, yeah. Um, the, the, I mean, the whole Soundview area, right? I mean, the whole Soundview area. One Hundred Park, Skating Palace, all that. This ice, right, the right. Ice Palace, and all that, all that. Right. Listen, we would all the dances and all that. Stuff. All that. Break, yeah, I mean, listen. Break dancing, all that stuff. Like the I break said, break dancing. Yeah, break dancing. All that. Break that. All that. Mm -hmm. Mario used to do the snake and all that shit. Mm. Dancing. Yeah. See, we were known for partying. Right. Enjoying ourselves. Getting women right. and protecting the neighborhood. Right. A lot of gangs didn't like us because wherever we went, they weren't really attracted to us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What can I say? <laughs> That's right. That was good. What can I say? Right, right, right. Hey, then we took our colors off. We still had our colors. Then we started dressing. Still was a gang, but we started dressing. And that's what really made us known. That's right. another part that made us known. Right. Because we were fly dressers. Right. You know? So basically, I mean, you know, you had the whole sound view. You know? We had the whole entire Bronx. Mm. From Co op City to Patterson Party, 3rd Avenue, to all the way up to Florida Road. We had everywhere. Right, right, right. We had everywhere. And it started, what you say, 68 with it the seven? Seven of y'all. Seven of us. We just got tired of where we couldn't go here, we couldn't go there. <laughs> and we were no troublemakers. Right. We were no troublemakers. So what's this about, Um, like Mario, you saying Mario started hip hop, but no. they giving, I mean, they saying Bambada started. See, that's what I, see, this, took credit see, the, see, this is what I don't <laughs> understand. Bambada, see Bambada, <laughs> If he was a true man, he would have spoke up about Mario. He didn't know nothing about no music or nothing. He came over, he was young spade. He used to be with uh, Sinbad a lot. Sinbad brother and him upstairs. And matter of fact, really playing music with Sinbad. Okay. And then all of a sudden, Van Bonnet's got his equipment. I don't know, I got it. Okay. Right, he got his equipment, but Cool D is really the one who had the most equipment. Cool D. Right? I remember. I cool that. D had the most equipment. Right. And him and Mario combined together. Okay. Him, Mario, and Tex and Hollywood. My little man Hollywood. I read on the internet that Mario gave uh Bambada his start, like lent him um his DJ equipment at first. I don't know if it's true. It, it, but that's it, what's it, being said. It was him and Cool D because he wanted to play in Bronx River. Okay. He wanted to play in Bronx River. And Bam Bada, all of a sudden he came out with some Zulu Nations. Zulu Nation. But y'all agree with that, right? That was what I didn't it was. Agree. I, wait a minute. Let's get something straight. I didn't agree with the goddamn thing. Hmm. I don't agree. Me? He didn't start nothing. He, he, you know? he came out with a nice little thing, but he didn't start it. You know, right. he didn't start Disco Mario started that. Yeah. Right. All that music stuff, like they said, Everybody cool heard about it Disco Mario Flash started. and all that. No, they used to come over here. Right. This was the spot, right? This what? This was the spot. Right, 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 all right, rappers, right. All they used to come to 123. 123. They used to come to Soundview, Lafayette. What division was Soundview? Soundview was no division. There wasn't no division? No, Soundview was like, well, Soundview was like the second division. Second. Palm had rappers. over there. All them old rappers. So you say saying Monroe and Soundview basically was together? Yeah. Okay. And Class right and Point? Class and Point? What was Class and Point back then? Class and Point. Just class class it was spade too, right? It was spade all over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it was all over. A lot of them wanted to be in the first. Right, right. Most Palmer, of them wanted to be with Palmer Palmer had that. Most of them wanted to be with yeah, Charles, Palmer had that. Palmer okay. had all oh, Soundview, Lafayette, Monroe. Palmer had that. We had our main ones here. What's called the Palmer? Right? Right. Right. Palmer What's the Palmer is downtown, town, yeah. And the thing about it, man, like I said, all this pulled out, like I told Ku Clyde. Yeah. Like I told him, you know, this was, the right here this was the heart. Right. Everybody right. came here. Right. They used to come to Mario's little parties. We used to charge a dollar, 50 mm. cents of time. Mm -hmm. You know, how I know? Because all of us carry records. Right, Or right. speakers. We used to carry that shit from here to 123, from here to town, whatever. 
We used to do that. You know? Right. But we had fun, though. Fun. That's what it was we all about, fun. right? It was music. all about fun. The music. It was all music, getting women, and having fun. Right, right, right. And, you know, as we got older, we started having babies, getting jobs. So, so the Zulu Nation, I'm trying to understand. So Zulu Nation came, like, back in, in 78. He nah, yo, he tried to say 73 started the Zulu Nation. Yeah, man, yo, remember. He tried to say 73. Listen, listen, I don't even want to discuss it. Bad Mata, I don't even want to discuss it, man. You know, man, he's a man. He you know, would, he said I don't even want to discuss Bad Mata. He, he's a backed up man. Like I said, I don't, even, I don't even man, speak man. to Bad Mata, man. I used to like Bad Mata, don't get me wrong. I used to like him. Right. You know? Because he's not telling the truth, man. Right. Mm. 73. 73. Like 73. He said 73 in Stevenson. Boy, he did. Yeah, everybody want to chip. What chip do you want in Brussels? No, and uh, Stevenson, I think. He is, that's how it's going down in history. <laughs> that he won a trip in high school. That body didn't go to like. Stevenson. Well, I don't know. That's how it's going down. Yeah, well, well you know, it's going down wrong. Bad body wasn't even old enough to go to Stevenson. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? He was young. He wasn't up there. Ask how old Bad body right, is. Right, okay, right. And you ask anybody out okay, here who Okay, listen. Started, it's 73. Right. If I was 22, 21. He had to be about 16, 15, something like that. Right. He had, no, he had to be 14 or 13. Right. But how old is he now? About what, 40 something? No, he's, yeah, 49, something like that. Yeah, he's 40 young. something. He was young. He's young. He was young. Right. Well, he's on my steep. Oh, he's a baby still. Yeah, he say 73. That's he's how it's going down in history. Holy shit, please let me see Bambada. Yeah. See, a lot of people want to see him because yeah. of him. Matter I saw, of fact, hold up. Matter of fact, this is where you go catch him in a lie. It's around 73. That's when, yeah, listen to this. That's when. Matter of fact, but the you know, it was, it was Raheem. Okay. GQ. GQ. No, that wasn't 73. I know Bam Bow wasn't that there, too. Yeah, no. No, Raheem was going, we were going there in 70, 71. I'm saying, though, 70, GQ 70 started in the 70s. Yeah, you know, GQ started in 67. Yeah, what I'm saying. GQ's no, 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 right there. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Right there. And it's impossible for Bam Bow to be there in 73. It's impossible. 73? Yeah. Hell no. <laughs> no, why that, that make away. him his age Yeah, then, yeah, yeah. Wait a minute, I was 15. 69, I was 15. 14, 15 or 14 to 69. 73, that and would he make had you, to be like seven 73, years old. 73, that would have made you 19, right? 73, you've been 19. And he right. had to be fucking seven, eight years old. 73, you've been 19. 19 years old. And this guy, man, I know I'm, he's 10 years older than him. Right. Or 11 years. Right. So how the hell he talking about 73? What yeah. was he doing, playing the diapers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Bam lied. <laughs> Straight <laughs> off the back. He fucking lied. 73, and y'all believe in that dumb shit. That's all y'all know. But I Yo, know for a fact, when I came up here, I met him and whatnot. All that there, they talking about, because my wife, all of them know. They grew Bam up. Bottle, they, they know right. all of them. And Disco Mario started all that stuff. Right, 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 right. Wow, man. Yeah, 73. 73? Bam Bottle was still in fucking preschool. Yeah. Preschool. <laughs> he wasn't even in junior high school. <laughs> What's up, this bitch? He talking about 73. <laughs> Matter of fact, too, this is how I know he's lying. <laughs> 73, I was working in Pathmark. Hey, baby. Right. All right. Hey, shit, I was working in Pathmark. Huh? Making a documentary. <laughs> documentary. Yeah, a real documentary, the truth. Matter of fact, matter of fact, you could be part of this because you was there. Right. No, no. No. Mario. We used to play music and all that. Oh, yeah. You were there. That's right. She was right, there. Right, she right. signed that. She was there. Because she's older than she's just as old. She's older, uh, no, she's older than Bam Bada. Uh. Listen, Bam Bada says 73. Bam Bada was in front of me. I take my cane. All bad questions. I cracked his kneecaps. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. 73. It's I'm 19. Amazing. Wait a minute. Hold up. See, I know because my wife and all them rays had these niggas out here, man. They was close. This family, my, my wife's family. Matter of fact, in 73, 
I was exactly 20 years old. Yeah, I was 20 years old. 19 turning 20, right? I was turning 20. Yeah. I was turning 20. Because I'm like three or four years 54, old. 54, baby, I was, right? I was like 23. Huh? 23. Yeah. 54. Yeah. So you I was, was 19. Yeah, yeah 19, right. Turning 20. Right. Well, and this moment, how the hell? He going, <laughs> how the hell he going to talk? He just get out of the diapers, girl. Yeah, what yeah. are you talking about? He's 73. He's about eight. Man, what's that? He's seven, eight years old. Nigga was still wiping snot from his nose. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Still taking doo doo stains out of his drawers. Yeah, yeah. 73. Word. Oh man, I know this mind, yo. But yeah, but he did take it around the world, though, right? That's why I do admire him. Right. Because see, only reason why Mario didn't, but Mario didn't have a sponsor. Right. See, these guys like Flash, Herc, and them, they had sponsors, people who have money. Right. You know, and that's our fault. But Mario helped all them get that started. That was our fault. Right. You know, right. because we had jobs. You know, but once we got older. We just like faded. We still were together, but we just like all went our different ways. Right. But we still were together, but you know, we was needed. We was there. But see, that, that's where we messed up at. Yeah. We should have backed. That's we should have backed. Money, yeah, yeah. And we the back because a lot of us had jobs. I had a good job. I ain't gonna lie. I had a good job. Mm. But like me, I thought I was a player. Yeah, 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 yeah. A lot of us, us thought we were playing. We all thought we were playing when we, we were playing. At that time, yeah. we were making from, money dressing Well, five. we were from glory stompers to spade colors to wearing gators and lizards, mm. blahs, tailor-made and pants, and yeah. all that. Mm. I'm a living witness, mm. but that's what I had. That's what we had. You know? Yeah, yeah, but yeah. we were spades that was cooling. Yeah, yeah. You know, we yeah. dressed in spades, but if there was any problems, you knew how this. Where, where y'all get that name from, Spade? Was it after the Panthers, Black we Panthers? Had, no, no, no. We were talking about all kind of crazy names. The Bronx Steel Brothers, all kind of names, man. All kind of names. And David, to be honest with you, David came David, up with. Yeah, right. He was a, he was a president. He was a Muslim. Mm. He was a Muslim. Mm. And a lot of our parents didn't know. My mother found out I was in the gang for 1960. Uh, in 1969, she see me on Eyewitness News mm. with Gil Noble. Mm. That's the first time I, made, I was on TV with sunglasses and all, with spade colors. Get out of here. We was on the David Susskind show. Mm. We was on TV. Like that uh, Warriors. Like that Warriors. Up. Yeah. Like the Warriors. They tried to make that album movie. Yeah, who were the Warriors? What was that about? Warriors was just. So made it's up. my name they yeah, made okay. game, so they, we was they really was trying to show us uh, uh, right about gangs in the South Bronx right 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 you know because they did try to get us to do a movie but we went there and tore up the street <laughs> yeah oh, they threw okay. us all out oh shit we were reckless man yeah 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 you know we wanted our way went out we went our way and all shit like that right Listen, I was there. I was original. Right. Listen, there's we, a lot more I can tell you. We doing it for the music, though. You know what I'm saying? Right. We, and right. the thing about it, the main thing is, Herc, Flash, and all of them can tell you. If they want to be honest, they know nothing about that music until they heard about it over here in the Northeast Bronx. Right. Southeast, right. Southeast Bronx. Southeast Bronx. Right. He helped a lot of them people get started. Right. That was shit, damn sure did. They found uh, Mario. First scratch and shit, Mario. All that mixing and all that <laughs> other stuff. Mm. All Mario that. started that. Mm. Mario good, started good, good, good. That was his favorite shit. That's like good, good, time. good, good, good time. Yeah. And what's that? Uh, that's the Spanish song. Oh, we dying or that shit is, man. Yeah. We used to hustle and all that shit off of that. Mm. And we was known for good dance. We was dancers. Was y'all the first break dances though? Who who started that? As far as I know, no, uh, no, no. Who started? No. Who who you Break said? dancing came from a variety all over the in different parts of the Bronx. That's what okay. I said. The Spanish and the Blacks. Yeah. Spanish and the Blacks started. Yeah, they started. It start, I can't tell you exactly where it started at. Right. Exactly who it started here. We was doing break dancing. We were doing wild, at that time, we used to call it wild dancing. Wild dancing. 
Okay. We used to go wild. We used to dance wild and all that shit. And, and where Mario, when he used to plug in the system, where he used to get the power from? People's apartment, the oh, land oh, posts. Anywhere, anywhere, where or land posts. They knew when, he first, when he first started, he was getting them from, he was getting them from, everybody knew us, so we were plugging from the apartments. Okay. When we were playing in the projects. Right. Then when we started playing like on like sidewalks and all that, right. you know, like lots and all right. that, outside, parks, we was getting it from the lamp posts. Mm. You know? The police didn't bother nobody. They didn't then, bother man. you then, man. Because we didn't create no problems. Nobody. Mm. Cool Hercules used to come to the Rosedale Park. Mm. Right. They come still on. do it sometimes. When we had Bronzedale there, yeah, nah, they came over listen, there a couple times then. But listen, crazy, I ain't, man, this. Yeah. That's why I don't understand why they don't dedicate to Mario, man. And I really do blame that on his brother. And that girl, too. I blame it on his brother, the man. The girl used to take advantage of his name, too. What's her name? Oh. Uh, 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 Mrs. Rose's niece or something. The girl with the long nails. The light skinned girl with the long oh, nails. Oh, I don't know. I forgot her name. No, yeah, saying, yeah, yeah. She used to come, she and, to come and, and do a lot of stuff. And, yeah, but they never had it where they hyped him up right there. Yeah. Right, right. And it was Tex, too, right? Tex? Tex, like, faded away, man. He faded away? Yeah, yeah. But he was one of the original dudes yeah, doing it, though. He was one of the original guys, too. Right. I told you, the first three was Tex, Mario, and Spanky. Okay. Tex, Mario, and Spanky. You ain't even heard nothing about it. On the South Bronx, they playing music. They playing this. Okay. They playing that. Because how we know about that? Because we was gang busting. Right. We were gang busting. And we went on all every edge of the Bronx. You know who mentioned y'all, um, but he really didn't get into y'all, and that was Just Ice from Castle Hill. Going way, way back to the early days of 75 and the black space. Oh, back yeah, in 87. Yeah, yeah, he knows. Castle Hill. Yeah. Right. Those, those, those are the only dudes that didn't become spades, though, right? Right. Right. Matter of fact, I stabbed up there. Yeah, right. right. I got stabbed. I heard about that. Yeah. And we shut down the whole project. Right. For two days. Mm -hmm. We shut down the whole project for two days. Mm. Believe me. Mm. They stabbed Fat Mike, we shut him down. Right. You stabbed a spade at that time, first division, we shut down any project. So why they didn't want to um, become spades? I mean, what hey, was that about? That they, well, they thought they was cool guys. They was cool guys. They, was they didn't really thought they was cool guys. Right. No lie. They were like players. The hill. They on top. The right. Hill, right. You know? <laughs> but we put them in their place. Okay, okay. You okay. know? Yeah. Hey, listen. Wherever we went, we took control. Mm. And we didn't mean to do it. Right. But anytime time girls say, oh yeah, there's spades here. First division. Boom. Mm. They used to go crazy, go crazy over us. Mm. Plus, we were cool. We were cool. We were cool gang members. Cool. We were cool. Cool guys. We never right. started fights and nothing like that. Yo, listen. There's a whole thing about you know, like like um, the the the, the jeans sagging or you know, like the belts. The police should take the belts. Do you know anything about that? You know, like the S, the S is the beginning of shoelaces not being tied. They take your shoelaces no, no, and, no. and and the belts. Yeah, we were the way. We went glory stompers. We had on boots. They call, we call them glory stompers. They were engineers. They were engineer boots. They right. come with a steel toe and they come up about three quarters. Oh, up the right there. Boots. Or they call them motorcycle boots. But the proper name for it is engineer shoes, engineer boots. They all of them had steel toe in them. We was the only gang running around here with boots on, like, like soldiers, like we were supposed to. We used to go see other gangs. They had on sneakers and. We went glory stompers. Okay. We wear motorcycle boots. boots. Right. Yeah, so that sneakers and all that belt bullshit. That, get that. We were we were gang members. Right. We wasn't no sneaker wearing motherfucker peep out guys. <laughs> when we stomped you, when, the yeah, is on. when we stomped you, you didn't get stomped with sneakers. Yeah. Let's start with them big steel fucking boots on. Mm. Right, we ain't wearing no sneakers. Yeah, Fuck, yeah. We're gonna play basketball. Right. Or baseball. <laughs> right, right, right. Shit. Right. <laughs> when, you, when, you, when you got your ass kicked by us, you got your ass kicked by us. Right. Believe me. You got your ass. You knew we were there. Yo, a lot of us is older now and. Right, right, right. You no, know, we alright, man. And yeah. But that music stuff. Music. That came from Mario, man. Yeah. This yeah. came Mario. Yeah. You know? That's where it came from.